I'll um, open by saying how happy I am to be here. And people clearly are happy to see Dr. Angela Davis. Hundreds lined the sidewalk in front of Batwell Auditorium Saturday night. The well-known activist is back in her hometown for the first time since the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute denied her the prestigious Fred L. Shuttlesworth Award. I heard from people all over the world. The BCRI first said Davis didn't meet the necessary qualifications, but later had a change of heart and said Davis is eligible for the award. I'm very sorry that uh, events unfolded in the way uh, they did because I don't want to do anything to damage uh, the reputation of the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute, which is such an important institution for this community. But she says there's a flip side to the controversy stemming from whether she should receive the award. It has provided an occasion uh, for uh, people all over the country and other parts of the world to come together and think uh, uh, very deeply about uh, you know what it means to uh, stand up for human rights uh, in the 21st century. Davis took part in an event hosted by the Birmingham Committee for Truth and Reconciliation on Saturday night. She says she's not sure what she's going to do about the BCRI's invitation to accept the Fred L. Shuttlesworth Award. I will take my lead uh, from the community in Birmingham. And the crowd was so big, people were still coming in the entrance 90 minutes after the doors opened. From the Batwell Auditorium in downtown Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WBTM 13.